Hello, my name's Ali and I'm an intern at Grace Church this year and part of my intern role is to do with international ministry. I've had a real heart for the persecuted church for quite a while now and I've been asked to do a video on how to pray. And you might be thinking, what has the persecuted church got to do with learning how to pray and going deeper in prayer? But actually, over the past few weeks, as I've been thinking about everything that's been going on here and how our church life has changed so dramatically, so quickly, I can't help but notice the similarities between what we're facing and what our brothers and sisters around the world face on a daily basis. I think we can see our persecuted brothers and sisters as our mentors. If we really want to know what it means to pray as if our life depended on it, to seek God as though he is the most important thing in our life, then let's look to the persecuted church and see how they do it. There are three things that come to mind. The first one is how quick they are to pray for others. I remember specifically a video of a group of Indian Christians and they honestly were on their knees, they were weeping, they were praying as if I'd never really seen anyone pray before and I thought there must be an attack coming, there must be, a, I don't know, a threat on the way, something around the corner because they were, they were just so upset and cut up and just interceding and then I realised that actually they were praying for us in the West because they realise that we have a real issue with apathy, that we are very slow to choose Jesus above everything else in our lives. And that really challenged me, that, that longing to pray for others, no matter how bad your situation is, to be praying for others. And so that's the first thing that I think of in this time, to of course be praying for ourselves, interceding for ourselves, but also looking outwards and praying for others too. Another thing that really convicted me was when a persecutor Christian said, I don't want you to pray for us, I want you to pray with us. And that really challenged me because how often do I genuinely get on my knees with someone, stand beside them and say, I am praying with you, rather than I see your situation from afar and I'll just pray for you. So as we are praying for those around us, let's pray with them. Let's really be empathetic and pray with them as though we are in that situation ourselves. And lastly, one of the most common and probably one of the most surprising things that a lot of persecuted Christians say when they're sharing their stories is that they don't pray for the persecution to go. They don't pray for the trials to go. Because actually it's in the midst of our trials and in the midst of our suffering that God teaches us some of the biggest things that we will ever learn in our lives. And I just think how often do I pray, God get me out of this mess. And I hate being uncomfortable. We're in such a comfort driven culture that I'm so quick to be like, God help get, get me out of this. Rather than God, what are you trying to show me in this? And so let us have our prayers focus more on, God, what are you doing in me in the mo at, at the moment? I think it's absolutely fine to come to God and say, why is this happening? Please, would you relieve this from me? I think that's okay. But I think sometimes we can be too quick to get to that point <laughs> rather than, God, what are you doing in me? What are you teaching me at the moment through this? If you want to get more involved with praying specifically for the nations and praying for the persecuted church then we hold prayer for the nations once a month at Grace Church and we're still doing it, we're doing it online. It's the first Tuesday of every month at the moment. Usually it's the first Monday but at the moment it's moved to every the first Tuesday of every month. Um, the dates will be on the church calendar, all the information is on there. Let's all keep on persevering in prayer and look to our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world as our mentors and learn from them.